Alright guys, I'm going to show you how to take apart and reassemble your Savage B-22 magazine. Just need a little tiny Phillips head screwdriver is really the only tool you need. Take those two screws out. Now it pops apart. spring tension on this red piece it'll unspin as you take it apart no big deal here's your rotary piece get yourself a q-tip and put some cleaner on the q-tip and clean up all these ports on the inside there is some white grease I didn't clean that up I just figured you might need it still your spring it's got a little arm on both ends of the spring that interact with this little groove with these grooves here one groove is in that red rotary piece though all right you clean it all up take one the spring and put it back in here so that the arm engages and you feel it go in you got this little green arm here that green arm interacts with that kind of L that's at the 12 o'clock position of this case right here so we need to recreate tension between these two pieces so the other spring the spring goes into this little thing here um, Savage says the proper tension is one full turn and uh, so this is 12 o'clock with the green on top and 12 o'clock with that bullet um, you know the area where you load the bullets in right here chamber at the top here so that's that's 12 o'clock so if you want to do what they're suggesting, you put both of these in the 12 o'clock position with the spring locking in. With the red facing left, you turn towards you one whole turn. Not only do it do it one whole turn but when we're loading it in we're going to go a little extra so that we can make sure we get it in there and when we get it in there and let it go it'll snap back to like right there oh sorry I had to regroup there lost a piece and how to find it anyways uh, so Ruger wants you to do a full turn I'm going to do a half a turn so um, you'd find it you got your piece in the 12 o'clock that with the loading chamber up top now with your green green area here uh, if you're gonna do a half turn you would just like move that to this six o'clock load it in with the spring make sure they're interfering with they're locked in and then with the red facing left of you, keep going. Now we're at 12 o'clock. Now I'd say go a little more so we can load it in, no problem. And then I kind of give it like this little pinch claw. Now we just kind of hopefully slide these two back together. You need to make sure that that green area is going to be on the left side of that L and you push it in there and then it's just going to automatically flip up on its own and catch on that L. Hold it together. Not really that hard. And put your screws back in.
So the half turn makes it a little easier to push, push the bullets in. It's not resisting you so much. And uh, it's a little hard to get the bullets out, but when you get them out, let's see if I can get, I mean, the, the next one snaps up nice and crisp still. Um, I also made a video on uh, reducing the magazine sloppiness in the uh, magazine well of, on this uh, gun. So if you got a lot of slop with your magazine, I've got literally like a one penny solution to fix, fix your problem. Um, so give that a watch as well.